Tony's coming to collectibles, and today we're going to be looking at Darth Vader, the Hot Toys Darth Vader DX28 from the Obi Wan Kenobi, well Kenobi series, which to me and in my in in my opinion did not execute as well as it was supposed to. It sucks because you know Vader and uh, well Anakin more so comes face to face with Obi Wan. The friend that he thought he'd killed, but is now alive as Vader. But hey, we got what we got. The only thing epic about that whole series was the ending battle for me. Um, but besides that, a cool figure. So check out ComicConcepts.com if you haven't already. The link's down below. You can click on that and find many, 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 many awesome collectibles, especially since we just had a restock over there on the website. So go and check that out. Here we have Darth Vader. Now I do have most of the accessories in the box here, but the box um, is like probably the most badass box I've ever seen for a Hot Toys. Not gonna lie, that is probably the most badass box I've ever seen on a Hot Toys. Very cool. And you have all the uh, Inquisitors right there. DX, uh, Kenobi's over there at the top. Vader looking sexy. Very nice. I like, I really like this box. Like, it's very nice. I love the whole design of it. Very cool. So, here we have Vader himself. Um, this is my first Vader in hand. Uh, I have not had any other Vader, A New Hope, Empire Strikes Back, um, Sideshow Vader, Return of Jedi Vader still on, you know, pre order. So this in hand, I was very much worried about the suit being too thick and unposable. Um, maybe if I could brighten this up a little bit. But that's not the fact of the matter because um, it's actually really good. Uh, material is thin and it's very true scaled. I like that. Uh, this is the other base. The other base is in the box, like I said, accessories and stuff. It's basically other hands, switch out a uh, rubbly looking rock base. Uh, failed reviewer right now, not really taking that out because it's too much. And a regular Darth Vader mask helmet with uh, no damage. But this is what's important. Cool wiggly eyes and whatnot. This stuff does light up. Um, we've seen that before because it's all stuff we've seen before. So I'm not going to get into that. Although my base did come, it's supposed to light up everything USB. Um, I plugged this into USB. And in fact, it did not light up. So that's a brand new figure that did not light up. Dot, dot, and this thing I think lights up. It glows white. But it did not because you got to have something screw up, right? Hot Toys, got to have something. So that didn't light up. But other than that, the figure looks very nice. I do have to say I'm pretty, pretty scared about this material later on. Um, I'm not sure if the other Vaders are made out of the same materials, but that is pretty scary coming how thin it is and it looks like it'll deteriorate and just not look good after a long time. Maybe I say give two or three years and see how that goes. But the details on the helmet that's damaged with the Anakin sculpt coming through is very impressive. I love that the eye that we got right there. That's a movable independent eye. It's on its own. Um, the scarring and whatnot, that's all beautiful. Um, matches the damage that of, and it, it's kind of badass because you see more of where um, the Return of the Jedi Anakin sculpt, the old dude, got all his scarring from, and it seems to be from this battle with Obi-Wan. So that's really cool. And as you can see, the lightsaber damage and the bluing of what looks to be like titanium heat. I guess this this helmet was probably made out of titanium because it has damage like titanium. Um, but uh, I don't know what Star Wars wants to go with that. I don't think they even use titanium for him. But titanium's lightweight, so maybe. But it wouldn't deflect anything unless it gets lightsabered into the face. But cool looking stuff. I love that they went with the shiny helmet. This is very 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 nicely done. Um, Everything else is nicely done. Like I said, the material is pleathery. I don't like it. The whole suit's made out of pleather. Chest lights up. The belts light up. Um, cod piece there. And it's pretty your pretty much your basic Vader. All black, all everything. Um, this does have a swappable um, cape as well. Not just the chest piece and helmet. 
Uh, so this, right now I'm using the clean cape and that clean cape is just clean. And then you flip it over, reverse it, and it has a slash on his back for damage. I just like the more cleaner look and um, that's the way I went with. I find it kind of weird how it didn't have a nameplate, you know? Usually I thought maybe there'd be a plug-in for a nameplate there, but uh, nothing to it. I didn't see anything come with it. Of course, you have the USB-powered uh, lightsaber there, and all this is gonna be USB-powered, so let me turn this around. I'm not gonna turn on anything because I put it up. It's not really not worth it in, in general because it's so complicated, so. This is the plug-in for the USB types of rig regular type C goes in there and you flip the switch. It's supposed to turn on, but mine doesn't. Congratulations. And then once you lift up his cape, you're supposed to hook this on his back. Very complicated to get this thing to work correctly. Um, the plugs like to unplug themselves, but once you do get it all plugged up, the wiring and stuff is back there. It works in this case for Vader because of his cape. There you go, it's gone. But other figures like um, regular uh, Inquisitors, uh, Jedis, or Sith Lords, I don't think it will work so much better because of all the wiring is everywhere. And you, it's so it's so exposed. This, it's doing really well because of all black everything and the wire being black. So that, that works. Dante, hold on one second. <laughs> uh, just give me one second, Dante. So... There you go, um, that's a review for me. Um, the biggest things for me is basically pleather and the USB system really not working too good. Um, paint apps are beautiful, that gunmetal color with the black and all that stuff, very nice looking. Uh, the highlight of this being that sculpt exposed, I, I love that, that's beautiful, that's a must. Um, but other than that, it's your pretty much basic fee. Oh, another thing, the cape I feel is too thick. And it doesn't flow too well. I wish it was that of the material of the Royal Guard. The Royal Guard had a very nice cape and it flowed nicely, especially with no wires in the cape. It still looks as if it has wires in the cape. I think it's too thick. I think it's just way too thick. And they had to double layer it because of that reversible thing. So I think that's what making it look too thick. Um, other than that, this guy is a pretty good figure for the price. I'd say, okay, it's worth it. It comes with a cool box and all. Very nice, but I I don't know. My first in-hand Vader, being a statue guy, you know, I'd say I want to see what the Vader come, you know, what more Vaders they come out with. I haven't been too satisfied. They did, SciShow did release the premium format Vader that I did, I did kind of like but the base was way too plain. It, it was a Mr. Farian base, but it was way too plain. I felt like they could have done a little bit better with the base. The pose and everything else was okay, but the pose, I mean, the base was uh, a bit bland and uh, it wasn't too expensive either. So I can't complain about that. Uh, I just, just waiting on something perfect. I may put this one up for sale. I probably won't keep this. Um, I love my clones. That's what I'm going with right now. There's a certain amount of figures that I love and I'm just getting the ones I love. I don't I don't get this with this figure. It looks really cool, but I don't know. I'm just not getting it. Alrighty, there's the review for me. Until next time guys, see you on the flippy. I don't even know what I don't even know what that means. See you on the flippy. See you on the flip side. What is even the flip side? Just because it's a saying doesn't mean it should be said. Bye guys. <laughs>